Hi everyone, and welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Rita Havens, and I'm the owner of Havens Consulting, and I'm here today to walk you through a feature that I learned how to implement using the bookmark buttons in Power BI. Now you might have followed along and seen one of the previous videos that I did over at Power Pivot Pro, where I walked through how to create bookmark buttons um, using some really cool toggles that let you do things something similar to this. Where you can use them to kind of create a website type interface where you can have little pop-ups and really cool features like that. But one thing that I, I felt I was lacking was the fact that the buttons didn't seem very button-like in terms of their, their clickability. So let me give you an example here. Click around on a couple of things. I can clear my slicer selection, but it doesn't really look like it's, it's doing anything. It's not actually clicking. It doesn't look like I'm pressing a button. So I, wanna, uh, I wanted to figure out how to customize that further and make it in, more interactive. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that today. And, and the end result will be something more like this. You see that when you, uh, when you hover over it actually creates a much cooler little kind of effect to it. You can click in and it even looks like you're clicking the button. Uh, a really cool way to kind of um, use the slicers this way. And I like these a lot better. It, it just feels a lot more tactile for, for myself and I think for the clients. So let's, let's run through how to create these. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to delete these first just to start from scratch. And I'm going to come up to the Home tab. I'm going to go over to Buttons here. Now this is why it took me a little while to figure this one out. Because if you go down into the section below, there's one called Blank that actually creates a completely empty bookmark button. So let's start from there. And it does create a completely empty button for us. I'm going to move it down a bit. There we are. And there's a kind of a button template that we can use to start with. Now over on the visualization section, there's a whole lot of options of, of customization. And we're going to kind of walk through them one at a time and do our edits. So let's go ahead and start with button text. So I'm going to turn that on because I would like it to say something. And I would like it to say for button text, clear slicers. There we are. Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. Perfect. And that's kind of the button that I want because I would like it to say the action it's going to do. Now, there's a couple of other options in here as well. There's the default state. That means what does it do or and what does it look like by default? But there are two others. There is on hover and on press. So let's click on hover. And I'm going to change this now to uh, click to clear. Now watch when I hover over the slicer. See how it changes now? OK, there we go. So now let's look one more time. Let's change that to on press. I'm going to change that to slicers cleared exclamation point and now when I click it changes to a third text so it's it's becoming super interactive comparatively and it seems a lot more like you're actually doing something it's uh, it's responding to your actions um, and to even um, put a little cherry on the cake for this I would like it to be bolded when I go to the the click at the very end there we go now it's like super obvious that I'm clicking it all right now the next thing I want to do is give it a little bit of color, kind of um, uh, fill it in a bit so it's, it fits in more with the report. So the next section that I'm going to go to, I'm going to go now to the fill section. I'm going to turn that on. Let's go ahead and they, so the default state, let's keep it white. That's, that's fine for me and I'm actually, I'll even drop it to zero. Like keep that to the white background. And we have the same three default, three settings we can do default, hover and press. So now on hover though, on hover, I wanted to go from white, and I wanted to actually change to blue. There we are. See, a little bit better. Okay, keep that uh, also at zero. Now you'll notice that the there's one left for slicers cleared, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'd also like it to be blue. There we are. When you click it, but you can see that the text is kind of hard to read. So let's go up and fix that a little bit. Go to button text, go to hover, and change that font color from gray to white. There we go. See, now it's working a lot better. All right. On hover, that works well. And how about on press? Change that to white as well. There we go. OK. Perfect. Now, one thing that I'd like to do, too, um, that I th actually think can work kind of well is with it as a white inside, I want to give it a blue border around it. And then I want the inverse to happen when I am hovering or clicking, you know, to kind of give it that feel. So we're actually going to come over to outline and the default state. I want that to be blue. There we are. So it's going to be a white and blue, and then it's going to flip when I go into it. So now 
go back to outline there. On hover, change that to white. On press, also change that to white. There we go. So it's like it's uh, inverting when you hover and click on it, making it very clear that you're doing an action with it. Now there's a couple of other things we can do as well. So on press, there's an option for outline weight that actually will make the outside border thicker. So let's watch what happens if I actually kick this up to maybe say like eight. Now when I click, ah, do you see it? It kind of looks like it's a button that's pressing. So it actually starts to interact a little bit more. And it looks like you're actually depressing the button. And the, the last thing we can do with our outline is there's a rounded edge and rounded edges option. So let's see for a default state if I kick that maybe up to like 10. There we go. Hover, same thing. So now the button actually kind of is a bit more rounded and is starting to come together a bit. Okay. Now the last thing we want to do with this is go ahead and assign it an action like with any other bookmark button. And I want this to do a bookmark which is my clear filter selection right there that I have that I've already created. Um, I will link to another video as well that shows you how to create bookmarks um, in, the, in the description of this video but I won't cover it here. Now I can click around, make my slicer selection and then clear filter. Beautiful. Make a slicer selection, clear filter. So it works a lot better than it would otherwise. Now there's one last thing I want to cover to finish off this video, and that's that you can also add similar kind of button-like effects to any of the actual icon symbols as well in Power BI. Now they're not quite as good as the, the blank bookmark button that we just created, but there's still some tricks you can do. So I'm going to use this example of that little information button that I have up here. Like what that's doing right now is it doesn't, doesn't have much of a clickable function at the moment. It is kind of just sitting there and not doing much, but I would like to add a little bit of um, interaction with it. Now, unlike the other bookmark button, I cannot choose the fill option in here. Uh, in a perfect world, it would fill in exactly the shape, but it, as you can see, it's filling in the entire square. However, there are a couple things that we can do in, uh, with the actual icon itself. So if you open up the icon section over on the right, we have our still our three states, default, hover, and press. So on a hover, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the line color to a bit darker. Now, if I hover, you can see how it's actually changed. So it's starting to look a little bit like it's being interactive. And then lastly, on press, change that color again. Make that nice and extra dark and up the weight a little bit. So now when you press it, it kind of pops out. So it's not quite de uh, depressing or anything, but it still at least adds a bit of extra functionality to these. All right, that about covers it for today's topics, and I will see you in our next video.